Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually had quite a good night's sleep, although the bed in the camper van is really hard. It's still really lovely and I enjoy, I really enjoy the freedom and the form. I don't know. I think, I think when I get used to it, it's going to be a dream. And also I ordered like an extra mattress so that uh, it's going to be, um, softer because the bed is really hard uh, but yeah i'm very happy that we um we are living in it quite a lot before going on tour you know for the first time because it's it's so many new things constantly that i understand that i need to do and that, you know it's just like um yeah a constant kind of um um learning curve <laughs> Today, um, some of, of Gemma's friends are coming over with their parents. It's two really cute little girls that um, last time I picked Gemma and a friend up from preschool, they were like, when can we come to your house? <laughs> and then I was, I have never met their parents. Um, so then I, um, I sent their mom a text message and I was like, we never met, but your kids and my daughter really like each other. So I think we should plan a play date. And now they're coming. I'm really looking forward to meet their parents and uh, the girls are just adorable. Every time I pick her up, they're like, hi, Gemma's mom. <laughs> it's, uh, it's wonderful. Um, I've been in an argument with a Swedish woman um, about preschool um, on Instagram. This is very out of character for me. I never really do that, but I got so um, provoked by, she said that, um, that the preschool system in Sweden is fooling, you know, women and um, and for me that lived abroad and you know had have worked, you know, in other countries, I I just got so provoked because I think that the preschool system we have in Sweden is like the most beautiful gift our, the government could ever give us, um, and uh, you know we're so privileged to have that service for a very very small amount of money. And I just got so provoked of uh, someone who, in my you know opinion, just isn't experienced enough to understand what we have. Uh, I remember my grandmother, she was, um, she was extremely intelligent. And um, my grandfather was a party dude. <laughs> he was enormously charming. He had, even till, you know, the day he passed away, he had the twinkle in his eye. But he was like, she should have worked and he should have, you know, enjoyed the kids. Like... Um, she would have been way more successful than him in the work field <laughs> and uh, and she wasn't really allowed you know because she was a housewife and uh, I think that is um, it's really sad because then you get dependent on your husband and if that is an alcoholic or someone who's mean you know what are you gonna do um, so I think that uh, the system of women being independent is the you know greatest gift any government can give to the women and I think Sweden has really succeeded with this and um, and I get upset when people don't understand you know the history of it and and how much you know women in generations before us has been fighting for getting you know what we have now um, so I am very grateful for my grandmother and my mother who, who have you know helped us being able to live the way me and my sister do now uh, my sister too is you know a working mom and she got divorced when her kids was really young and uh, and she was a student at the time and and it was possible you know thanks to the care system of sweden and uh, yeah so i get i get really upset when when things when people i think swedes in general who has not lived abroad is extremely spoiled you know they have no idea how amazingly you know privileged we are and therefore, I'm really grateful that I lived abroad so that I have a perspective of what we actually get. And um, and with that said, you know, I am enormously grateful to be born as a Swedish woman. Uh, I'm also very grateful um, that I've grown up in my program of recovery where I've learned to take responsibility over my life uh, and look into, you know, what I want to do and how I want to do it and uh, and take take the consequences of stuff you know that happens within my own life and uh, that is caused mostly by me you know and and um, my very often impulsive actions 
<laughs> I'm also very grateful to have an amazingly supportive husband who loves me for being who I am with all these strange, you know, ideas and, and um, characteristics that I have. <laughs> it's beautiful to be loved, you know, for, for, for being who I am and not, you know, for being this exotic dream girl that I've had men, you know, falling for before when I was younger and very adventurous. <laughs> We're going to do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten it up. We're gonna start taking control over our breath on the inhalation, feeling the belly expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna we're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale. Very good job. We're going to do the hip hop. Inhale forward. Which direction? <laughs> I hit my daughter and my husband having fun instead.
I was feeling these shoulders rolling here up and down. It's a lot of fun. Mm. And switch direction. Place your right hand on your left knee and look over your left shoulder. And we're going to do the same on the other side. back to the middle we're gonna finish today's class with a short meditation close your eyes focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking inward let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart in this area you find an inner room we're gonna spend some time just for yourself there is nothing that has been nothing that will come it's only you in this way Thank you so much for today and all the great thank you. I love you guys and see you tomorrow.